Hey what's up guys welcome back to Cool Gadget Reviews In this video uh, I am building my new PC So I'm just talking about um, this is B450F Asus ROG Strix And I'm just gonna, about to fit install M.2 SSD guys So that's where one goes and the second one goes on the right And I have this Samsung 500GB Nice MT Evo So this is NVMe M2 and it is high performance uh, it has really fast read and write speeds so this is where all my uh, programs like windows and um, other programs uh, editing software is going to be installed on because i wanted to windows to boot up fast and my programs to upload really fast so if you see that little slat there see a little slat in the connector so that's the way you're gonna do it guys gonna face that way and um, with the motherboard, um, I've got these screws with the motherboard. They do not come with the SSD drive. These screws for the M.2 SSD come with your motherboard, guys. So I got quite a few of them with my B450F motherboard. So as you can see, I'm just trying to show you that that slat goes on that side. Uh, you have to go in at an angle and then you just push it down so you gotta slide it in and then I uh, push it down and tighten the screw okay uh, excuse me for that it's my first time doing this installing an M.2 SSD so and the screw itself is so small um, it's really fiddly to uh, trying then to get in there but yeah so that's installed but bear in mind guys there are on this motherboard there are two m.2 um connections but always use the first one as the second one will uh, make your pci start go slower guys that's the one i'm pointing at right now so that one there will um basically make your pci start go slower so always installing the first slot near the CPU so uh, yeah I've already installed um, Ryzen 5 3400G CPU which is also an APU so uh, I'm not installing a graphics card in this build at the moment the reason why I got the CPU was because I'm still allowed to play games and I will be doing uh, videos and benchmarks and frame rates on games with this CPU AP slash APU guys and now I'm just going to install uh, some RAM memory and I bought, bought this uh, Vengeance RGB Pro uh, 2 times 8 gig so 16 gig in total uh, DDR4 3200 megahertz um, cost me around about 80 pounds in the UK so all of these parts guys I'll put them in the description um, through my Amazon link uh, you can purchase it through there so all of these parts I just bought off Amazon brand new guys So yeah, the reason why I went with these um, RAM memories is because they look quite reliable and uh, stable and I like the RGB on these. So we are going to install these in slot 2 and 4 guys. Um, that's how you do it. Uh, you do not just use one channel, you have to use the two channels. So you can either install it in 1 and 3 or 2 and 4. So we're doing 2 and four reason why I'm not using one is because um, the CPU fan I can't have installed it upside down it should be facing the other way because it's too close to the slot one so I'm just using slot two and um, and slot four but I am going to upgrade the fan CPU to um, I think it's Rafe Prism RGB that AMD does so I will be getting one of them off eBay, probably second hand or someone that's not using that and is probably just going to sell it 
Um, so yeah, so I'm looking forward to that because that's kind of like uh, I think it's like a water cooled. So that should be good. I will be getting that uh, Rave Prism um, RGB fan for my CPU. So look out for that video too. And uh, if you're new to my channel, um, I would consider you subscribe. It's free. I got some more videos on uh, PC builds, benchmarks, and all that. So the motherboard is now installed inside the case. Uh, I've also connected the power as well, which took a lot of time with cable management and stuff. So AF is now installed apart from the case connections, the power button on the case, uh, the reset button, the LEDs for the case. So these are the last wires of this build I've got to connect right now. So you can see the power LED, the hard disk drive LED when it flashes when the hard drive is in use. Um, these are so small and they're so fidgety. Uh, you will see in a minute. Uh, it took a while for me to connect these. Um, they are quite straightforward. You do have a diagram with your motherboard's uh, booklet instructions. And also on the motherboard it has um, printed um, as well like which, which, ca which connector goes where. So it's pretty straightforward. Um, but yeah, I wish I did these while the motherboard was still off the case because that would have been easier because they're down the bottom corner and uh, it's really <laughs> fidgety to get down there, guys. So as you can see, uh, the reset switch, power switch, all these little connectors that we're going to connect right now. So um, yeah, it's going to take a, a while, but you can see where the connections are in the corner there and I should have done this while the motherboard was off the case but I didn't think like that um, I have built a PC for a long long time so um, as you can see there top ones are power and the bottom ones is the HDD LED and next to that you got the reset one at the bottom and I think you got the power one at the top and then after that you got the headphone jack and also the microphone jack as well so I'm just quickly showing you guys um, and also on there as well there's going to be like a little arrow uh, on the connectors that means a plus side so yeah it's quite fidgety um, I don't know I filmed it somehow <laughs> but yeah it's uh, I'm zoomed in at this point and um, so just connecting the power ones first so anyway when I connected these uh, the PC worked the first time so I got everything right the first time and um, so it's pretty easy but you gotta understand which connector goes where Make sure you understand that first, double check it, triple check it, and then just go in there and just plug them in. Um, like I said, I wish I did this before I bloody uh, mounted the motherboard in the case. So yeah, that's it. Uh, we're quite done. Um, and uh, my PC has uh, six fans installed, three at the front, two at the top, and one at the back. Um, I am struggling to get the RGBs working on the fans. The fans work great. Uh, I think there's an issue with the RGB because I have this uh, remote control. And um, the fans are working okay, but I can't get the RGB to work. Uh, if any of you guys out there know what that could be, let me know in the comments section. And uh, I'm just going to quickly show you um, where I've installed some of the USB connections. So that's the USB and that's the USB connection there as well guys. So these are USB 2.0 and that's the USB 2.0. Uh, that connects to the case. And um, so thanks for watching guys. Make sure you subscribe and also browse my channel. There's a lot of other cool videos that might be interested to you. So until next time guys, peace out.